You gonna pick? Yeah. <laughs> He's got a pick in his pocket. <laughs> do you ever just wake up with a pick in your I pocket? I do. I keep them right there. <laughs> That I was also awesome. never used to know what that little pocket was for. But that's... Hey there, it's Ryan with iMinnesotaNice.com. Today, day 54 of 365. I'm here at Capital Guitars in St. Paul. Let's go inside, meet these guys. All right, here we are inside Capital Guitars. We're going to meet Eric and Billy, the owners. Um, Let's ask him some questions. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Pretty good. Right. Tell me a little bit more about Capital Guitars. Welcome to Capital Guitars. We're uh, the best guitar store in downtown St. Paul. <laughs> the the badass. And the, the most badass <laughs> and uh, the only guitar store in downtown St. Paul. Sure, this is it. There's, this is it. Yeah. There's yeah. another one. We're St. Paul guys, Billy, even more so than myself. I'm a St. Paul suburb guy. But um, yeah, years ago there was. Uh, some really cool stores down here and there hasn't been for a long time until we came along about sure. seven years ago so. so you guys have been down here doing this for seven years seven years we've been in this location for two years um i'm looking at the camera Should yeah either way. either way either way <laughs> but i'm violating the <laughs> third wall or fourth wall no go for it yeah we talked to them all right hey <laughs> um we've been in this location for two years sure and uh we, we started November 2004 on St. Peter Street. Um, that was a small location. Above. Store about as big as this room that we're in sure. right now, about 600 square feet. A little bit we didn't smaller. know if we could make this thing happen, but we thought we'd try, try to live the dream. And uh, well, I don't know if we're living the dream, but we've been doing this for seven years. So. <laughs> the dreams to be a rock star. This at least is like you know in the same we get to realm. Be in, we so. get to be involved. Sure. So, right. So. So you guys got out of, you know, basically out of your own passion for playing music and stuff like that. You guys are like, hey, let's let's help other people get involved and, and do that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, that's that's our thing. I mean, we we know what other bands were in a gigging band, and yep. you can mention that. Um, we're in a punk band called Invasion Earth. It's Invasion Earth. The new CD is out now. <laughs> <laughs> nice, good plug. I like that. That's Play good. from outer space. Um, I like that. That was yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> we tricked you into coming. So from our we can promo our band. But I. Uh, it's on know. iTunes. Available on iTunes. Download <laughs> yes. uh, i99. This is oh, going the wrong hey, direction. We have here. customers oh, nice. coming in, Perfect. and we're not even good. open. <laughs> <laughs> Rewind to the point yeah. I was yeah. trying to make. Yeah, Frank was goofing around. We're we're in a band. We all our friends are in bands. Um, our employees, you know, are the guy that was in a metal band for years yeah. and years, a couple guys. So we kind of cater to that, you know, rock scene. Sure. Bit, and, you know, even though we like everything from... There's know, a lot of vintage stores in town, and they're great. Um, and we're not trying to take away from what they do. All, sure, yeah. All the small stores here are, are friendly with each other. We, um, you know, we all trade business. It's, yep. uh, it's kind of us against the giant stores. You right, know? yeah. We try to keep it local and... Um, you know, if we can't get it, we'll send you to a store that that that, 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 that you know that does, it. yeah. Or we can get it from them yeah. for you because some people you want to shop exclusively here, and um, so we'll get the item for them through, sure. through a different yeah. independent dealer. So. so no matter what, whatever they're looking for, they can yeah. come in. You guys can help them find yeah. it. We, we can help them find no it. We always it specialize, you know, in USA Jackson guitars at two thousand dollars. That's kind of you know, they're great guitars. Um, yeah. It, but you know, guys want Les Pauls or you know, the, you know, USA Strats, and we usually have some of that stuff in here too. Or that toilet bowl, whatever. <laughs> or, or the or, yeah, if somebody's looking the for royal, that, I mean, they're just not going to find that anywhere else. Right here, right here. Exactly. <laughs> that thing's amazing. And we also do, you know, kind of the high gain amplifiers. If you just look down this roll here, man, I mean, these, these yeah, are all all pretty fairly big known names, but they're in, they're high gain. Um, you know, you can find some Fender combos and stuff back here, but, uh, you know, we specialize in this. Yeah, this, you know, people walk in here, kids, sometimes, and they're like, whoa, you know? Right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, we don't have a million amps, but we have a lot of really big amps. Right. <laughs> sure. The big, the big ones, there it is. And you got to keep in mind, too, these amps range from, you know, they're not all $3,000 amps. This is a, you know, $400 amp head brand new in a $400 cabinet, so... 
and you know cheaper used stuff too but most of the stuff here is new even though we do have three thousand dollar amp pads here too right um there's a good good range of, of so of you guys can really cater to you know those startup bands so those guys that are just looking for to get something pretty good get them going stuff like that all the way up to the guys looking the, for their first half stack yeah. and they get it here usually so sure. um, yeah that's really our i think our biggest thing is we we like to make customers because, yep. I mean, I know myself, I would shop at two or three different stores, and those are the only stores I would even go right, to, yeah. you know, and I'd go there yeah. weekly almost, you know. Um, and that's what we really try to do, you know. And yeah. So we want them to go home and go, wow, this is a great, it's great deal. Yeah. I'll be going back there for sure, and then, you know, they'll come back for years and years. You know? Yeah, absolutely. It's Perfect. never the, you know, the sale today. It's yeah. always, you know, kind of the, you know, the sale down the road. These guys Bring are, them into your family, really. Yeah, I mean, exactly. you, you yeah. These plug guys, them into people come and hang out, and we go to their, you know, go shows, to the shows, and, shows yeah. and, and, you know, they'll, we, we, for a long time, we, we've joked around, and it was kind of, kind of a joke, but kind of serious. We said, hey, buy an, buy an amp, we'll, we'll carry it for you for a month. <laughs> sure. Uh, and, you know, ha and we'd have a good laugh, and then they'd, we actually show up at their show, sure. and when they were done, we'd jump up on stage. Yeah. You know, we did that a few times. And guys were like, "You're oh, serious?" Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's that's so, the fun stuff. But yeah, yeah, we yeah. like we like to go to shows. Yeah, you know, so it's good yeah. to encourage them. Yeah, and we also sponsor a lot of local shows. Um, I mean, with us, not a huge advertising budget. So yeah. Um, I mean, everything's kind of low key with yeah. us man we don't have a lot of money to put in stuff so we do a lot of grassroots kind of you know we sponsor shows so we'll go out to the yeah. shows and uh you know try to do stuff like that sure. yeah you guys would rather be in there in the mix versus like putting oh, something up on a billboard obviously yeah, you guys absolutely. would rather be yeah, down we, there uh, in the every in the year trenches. we do uh every year we do a ramones tribute show we sponsor at uh we actually across the river over in minneapolis but yeah. um we supply marshall full stack amps and you know, do some giveaways and things. Cool. Um, other shows, yeah, we'll give away. This shirt was actually uh, the Hey Ho, Let's Go. It's funny, some people get offended, but it's just a Ramones thing. <laughs> yeah. Hey Ho, Let's Go, yeah. so let's go to Capitol Guitars. But this shirt uh, we did right before the Ramones thing, and uh, we actually, you know, gave half the proceeds that we sold at the show. I, pretty much all the profit. It right. shows a benefit for the Cancer Society. Sure. Because okay. Joey Ramone died of cancer, sure. so that was kind of, that's kind of what the whole thing is. But we get to play, we play with a band, the Capitol Guitar All-Stars, and it's basically a bunch of, bunch of kids that hang out the store, you know, so we go up and play some Ramone songs. So that's fun, but that's one of the things we do every year. Uh, we got a bark and roll thing coming up this Saturday, which is, you know, the Animal Hospital next door. We need dog race. Yeah, <laughs> nice. right. so, yeah, so we're donating a guitar and we're going to bring a PA system for cool. to have. So, you know, we try to, we try to do local, you know, that's advertising. Yeah, like that. be in the community. Yeah. Awesome. And you guys also do um, lessons. We do. Do you want to go down and check out, let's, should we go let's check out the lesson? Let's beam ourselves. Let's <laughs> beam ourselves down to the lesson. Um, do you want oh, me to show your sure, yeah. first? Or? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Okay, let's go over there. We'll go back to the beginning quick before we go on a tour. Um, this is our electric guitar area. Um, like Billy said, you'll find everything from, you know, $69 guitars. We hang them in the window because, you know, the sun sure. is not too friendly to guitars. So. Um, but, you know, if you're starting out, we, you know, we set up everything. We clean it up. We restring it. Um, get it playable. And that's the thing, too. You know, people will go to a pawn shop, find a $50 guitar, but then they end up coming here and find out it needs $50 more dollars worth of work sure. to yep. be playable. Um, you know, if you bu even if you buy a seventy dollar guitar here, it's it's ready to go. You know, so these are electric guitars. Obviously, we do. Uh, some people call us the pointy guitar store because um, we like to do a lot of the flying V's and different shaped guitars. Um, metal guys love those. I like them too, but um, but I play around the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> amps. We already kind of showed you the the big amps. Um, Accessories over there, strings. strings we got extra a stuff, huge cord. string selection. Um, that's another thing. I felt like Van That's awesome. <laughs> that <laughs> huge string selection. Yeah, we do a lot of different stuff. I'd, people kind of think that's cool. Some straps. We got we got both right fat oh, yeah. here. Nice. Holding it down. Star um, Wars stuff all over because books. we are Star Wars fans. <laughs> we are. Yeah, you'll see a lot of Star Wars stuff. Um, some smaller amps. Here, and then we have our acoustic guitar wall. Um, we don't do super high-end acoustics. There's, you know, other stores that do that, and that's cool. 
we do everything kind of in the mid range, low to mid range, and uh, you know, for people that are actually gonna bring them out and mm -hmm. dig them and stuff. Yeah, use not them. Hang them in a not the f not the first time buyer so much. Yeah, somebody I mean, that's good. A little bit of everything. And again, case. man, we can order high end stuff. We just don't, you know, we just don't really keep it in the yeah. store. Yeah, man. exactly. Yeah, people do come in and order, you know, two thousand sure. dollar acoustics from us yeah. sometimes, and, and yeah. I get them, you know, so. All right, I'll take you to the bass section since I'm the oh, bass player. The All bass. right, <laughs> we we have a three four size bass here, and that's great for kids that are just starting. Um, our lessons program too. Uh, we have kids starting that are five years old. Um, up until we got guys in here that are 70 years old, and we always do uh, recitals a couple times a year, so it's great because you got five year olds and you know 50, 70 year old guys at, yeah. at the same recital playing, you know, playing the same song sometimes. So <laughs> that's that's awesome. Funny. But we don't do a huge bass selection. We usually have 25 hanging. We're a little thin right now. We'll be ordering more stuff. But uh, here's kind of a cool piece. This is the Gene Simmons Axe bass. You don't see that everywhere. Um, and <laughs> we have asked for assistance because we don't want to get that one messed up. But uh, yeah, cool. It's got a very pretty cheap guitar. It's only uh, four, I think, 69. Um, and that's pretty cool. You don't see that every day. Um, Gene Simmons needs to make some more money, obviously, so uh, <laughs> here we go. I think Eric's going to take you down to the lessons. Room. Cool. Let's cruise down there. Nice. What a nice store. Oh, look. It's a, it's a copy of Invasion Earth. It's a new CD. Nine promotions. It's available. That's awesome. Um, so here's one of our lesson rooms. Um, this is our guy, uh, Jack, who... Uh, has a bachelor's in guitar performance from McNally Smith. He's a younger guy. Um, he's our main instructor, Jack Mansk. He's great. He, uh, being a younger guy, it's kind of cool because really good with kids. They're not like getting some grumpy old guy. Learn to play Marianne a little lamb. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he's really cool. He, uh, he's in a gigging band too. He's in a. Sure. Um, 80s pop cover band called Brad Pack Radio. So Oh, I've heard them. I've actually been to them. Yeah. Cool. So we get, you know, like I said, we have a big mix of different people yeah. that play in different genres yeah. here. And, uh, you know, we when we talk to people about guitars and stuff, it's, yeah. you know, we... You kind of know what you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, we've done it. I was going to say we know what we're talking about, but that might be a stretch. So. This is our, our lesson area, the yeah, waiting no, area. Great space. Everybody yeah, have their yeah where's, space. where's Waldo? Very important. And uh, some coloring books because the kids like to pick at our, our old walls. And Sure. So once we got that, you know. That's Stop that. Busy. And then we actually have Ryan Butler's oh, yeah. room. Ryan nice. uh, is our bass instructor. And oh, nice. Uh, he's got a bachelor's from Berkeley. Um, and... Out in Boston, yeah. Out in Boston, so yeah. both of our guys are highly qualified two instructors. Of the, two, two of the best schools in the country, definitely. So sorry. I'm and uh, yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, you know, so there's enough room in here. That's nice. You go yeah. to some places in, in the lesson rooms. I mean, you're, they're literally six by yeah, six, so you're just right on tiny. top. Of you. So it's a little bit nicer to have a little extra room. Yeah, definitely. And um, like I said, our our guys are are highly qualified. Yeah. We're, we're lucky to have them. And um, Ryan plays in a couple bands too. Uh, Allie Washington um, is his girlfriend, but they also play around town and plays in a lot of local bands too. Great bass player. Great bass player, actually a good guitar player too. A, a decent guitar player. <laughs> but an amazing bass player. And uh, we have a couple other people that teach. Um, oh, we should mention uh, Eric Gales is a famous blues player. He uh, is in town from time to time. He has a, he stays up here. Um, he's out on the road, you know, a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. but, um, he's kind of our celebrity guest instructor here, sure. which is cool. So you don't get that everywhere either. Yeah. And uh, Eric became a pretty good uh, friend of ours, and so whenever he's in town, he'll come. And he's got his own roster of students here, sure. so whenever he's in town, they come and they take come, lessons. Yeah. Sure. And uh, so that's that's it's awesome. You don't find it everywhere. Yeah, um, and and with those guys, you know, you have that history and that knowledge of being on the road, touring, and things like that. I mean, it's not just. You know, starting off playing music, you're learning the notes, you're learning the chords and stuff like that, but then there's so much more that goes into it after that. It's funny, the guys that, and we do, he does actually have a few younger students, but mostly it's guys that are very accomplished guitar sure. players already, and they're just like, I gotta come and see this guy, he's amazing, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it's just like get them to that next level. Exactly. Yeah, right? we actually so, had one of the instructors from McNally Smith College come take a lesson with <laughs> Eric, and yeah. it's funny. Yeah. And, 
Ah, I'm sorry. If you see this, I don't know. But Eric was like, I don't know. What am I going to, you know, show this guy? And then when they got done with their lesson, this instructor from the school was like, yeah, I got to go home and practice. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it's so, cool. Because, yeah. yeah, Eric doesn't come from that the school. You know, he's a natural Jeez, genius plays, at, yeah, just at get playing. To, yeah. He, uh, yeah, so that's cool. It's a different kind of a different kind of lesson, yeah. like you said. Yeah. D- different, different kind of lesson also. Um, it's great, too, because Eric will play around town when he's in here, you know, just out right. in L.S. and some smaller clubs right around town, yeah. which is cool, too, because his head's not so huge. Right, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm only going to play this venue or something like right. that, or I need to get this much money. He's a gigger, man. Yeah, he, he just wants to play. He wants to play, yeah, so yeah. then, you know. And mind you, this guy's played with. You know Santana, and, you know sure. and Eric big, Johnson, BB yeah, King. Big, big, he yeah, was yeah, on the so. Jimi Hendrix tour and all the stuff. But then he's playing Arnella's up on University sure. on Tuesday night. Yeah, pickup gig with his band. You know, because a gigging musician, he's, that's what he does for a living. Yeah. He's making money. But a couple of McNally Smith kids that actually took lessons from him, he invites them up, and then he invites them up on stage sure. and lets them play with them and stuff. Cool. So it's, it's very cool, man. That's so, a good culture. Yeah. So that's the lessons program. Let's bring him back upstairs. <laughs> back up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is our repair department over here. It's, it's a little messy because we actually use it, you know. Um, we do full full repairs, anything from a new, you know, volume knob to setting up fret dresses, um, full acoustic reconstructions. We do it all here. Um, we do amp repairs. So that's kind of our thing, you know. We want to be a one-stop shop, and and our repair prices are good too, you know, because you go into some big box stores and they just because they have outside people doing sure. it. Ouch! <laughs> so, <laughs> that the that? cellular phone commercial? No. You know, dude, where the dude's like, oh, they're going to charge you too oh, much. Oh, that's, Ouch! That's, that's, okay, Don't right, go yeah. to Guitar Center because they'll charge you too much for the... Ouch! Ouch. No, anyway. <laughs> but we do, uh, fair, fair, uh, we do quality work, fair prices. And we turn it around quick. That's I mean, a big one. It right sounds there. like a, a, a commercial, but we really do. I mean, yeah. oh, I'm not trying to slam anybody else, man, but I mean, you can't get it done much quicker than we can get it done here, man. We got a full time guy plus for seven years. Me and Eric been doing that day in and day out for seven years. So we both have a pretty good knowledge of how to do all this stuff. The stuff gets done quick. We turn it around quick and we try to be fair with our prices. Perfect. Um, you know, we understand Sometimes that. Sometimes people, you know, I think it's cool too to help people out because people come in and, you know, this is, thing is loose or, you know, some, something and I'll, we'll just stop what we're doing, hold on, we'll run over, take it apart, tighten it up, put it together and send them on their way and they're like, right. what do I owe you? I can't, no, just come back and buy some strings someday <laughs> right, or yeah, something. Yeah, you know, yeah exactly. Really, I think, yeah, and people really, that means a yeah. lot. I mean, I, and again, being a customer my whole life, when right. I started playing guitar when I was a little kid, you know. Stuff like that would just be huge to me. Yeah. You know, I don't need a hundred bucks off a guitar, but if you do something like that, right, I'm yeah. like, wow, it's yeah. cool. You know. Keep in mind, if you see this, we're not going to be able to fix every guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you would, no, but, but a lot but of yeah. times it can. Yeah. When we can. If there's, we just do, a yeah. Simple, if there's just a simple little twist or something like that, you go, oh, you're yeah, doing it wrong or something like that. Charging them up it's not going to, yeah. Or or something. And I think on like a lot of places, too, I mean, we do actually stock a lot of parts. I mean, you're just seeing some stuff on the wall here, but there's drawers full of parts back here so you know a lot of the time we're going to have the part that you need in stock a lot of places don't stock parts so when you go in there it's like you're waiting two weeks maybe for them to order a part before you know it might be a 10 minute fix a lot of times we have the stuff here so it's easy to turn around which is kind of weird to stock a lot of parts and a lot of stores do some don't i mean there's some repair shops that do but we do stock a lot of parts and uh interesting knobs like you know you gotta have your 12 gauge shotgun shell knobs you know you're not gonna find that at any other store in minnesota here you know what i'm saying that this is it (laughs) so cool might be a reason for that (laughs) (laughs) but it's cool so we get right (laughs) perfect (laughs) all right is that it and there's houdini's magic brand houdini's magic brand uh star wars walkie talkies don't forget oh look and if you don't have the old invasion earth 10 inch record <laughs> death race 2000, death race 2000. <laughs> 10 inch vinyl <laughs> so. all right man that's it nice <laughs>
Well, that's it. Day 54 of 365. I'm Ryan with iMinnesotaNice.com. Come down, check out Capital Guitars in St. Paul, Minnesota. These guys are friendly. They're knowledgeable. They will help you out. Uh, if you just are looking to get into a guitar, come down talk to these guys. They know from beginning to end. If you're a more accomplished musician, uh, swing down here. Lessons available, all that sort of stuff. So thanks for watching today's video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. If you know somebody that's looking to start playing the guitar, share this video with them so then they can find these guys locally owned, locally operated, seven years. I'm Ryan with iMinnesotaNice.com, sharing the best of Minnesota.